Uh, for instance, was one of those states that when you're calling some of the states in the southeast, you call Ebony State as the backward state. But today, you cannot mention the southeast states without mentioning Ebony State. These are Ebony State indigenous and their friends. Ebony State Development Association invited all to her end of the year party at Ebony House in Maryland, Lagos. Some weeks ago, an election took place and new leaders emerged. Mayor Dr. Felix Amanachi is the eighth president of Ebony State Development Association. He has put his shoulder to the wheel on this new assignment. One of the first things I need to do is to do a constitution review, you know, which uh, missionaries have been set in motion to actualize that. By end of uh, January 31st, we should be having a new constitution for the association. During my campaign, I promised that we're going to run an inclusive government and then uh, we're going to be transparent. In line with that, what I've done is to create about uh, 13 committees with uh, members drawn from all the three senatorial um, zones. We are working closely with the Lazen office, Lagos, who is our governor we know here in Lagos, and by extension, the state government. The incumbent governor of Ebony State, His Excellency, Engineer David Umahi, has been given a postmark. Some years back, Ebony wasn't what we are seeing today. If you even Google Ebony today, you will see that is the next to Dubai. A boy state had the highest number of flyovers built by our governor, David Omae. Governor David Omae has introduced what we call concrete technology in road construction, and you cannot see it in any other state. There is no local government today in a boy state that doesn't have concrete roads. I don't think we have potholes in a boy. Governor Omae has introduced 10 kilometer street lighting in each of the 13 local governments. We have to thank our governor that made it possible for us to be proud of Ebony today. Since these four years, what Dave Umaya has done for Ebony people is so much that it's nothing that you can just say. You need to visit Ebony to go and see for yourself. Not only done the infrastructural development, he has done the manpower development Agriculture that is the mainstay because there is no human being that will not eat. He made it as a matter of policy. Every politician, every civil servant who has a farm, he also has a right farm. And God has blessed him with a woman, a mother with a golden heart, in the person of Chief Mrs. Rachel Ogonne and Wesomahe. Ebony State was created 23 years ago by the late head of state. General Sonia Bacha. They are on the quiet side, calm, and very religious. However, a lot of Ebony people are now becoming entrepreneurs, so we are also beginning to do some part of business, even though more are in education and um, the academic world in terms of civil service generally. The stakeholders have confidence in the president and other elected officers of ESDA. Already I've advised the president to be up and doing, not to betray the trust given to him, and more so not to use ESDA as a money-making venture, but to project the good name of Africa South, where he represents, because he belongs to our own association, EAOU, which represents the old Africa division. So we are looking at him to give us a light because of the past leaderships that has not been up to doing. And right now, he's not been disappointing us, and we are proud of that. Of course, they've started well. There is a way somebody will start. The only advice you give that person in Igbo language is jide kiji. So they should hold it the where they have started. And we all guess they will do well. Ebony State Development Association is poised for great achievements in this new dispensation.